guys, welcome to another episode of Nasty Addiction Garage. So it's been a while since we've ever, since we've even touched this car. Um, good thing is, is that um, now I have time, so we're gonna get right to it. What we're doing now is removing all the body panels that I can. Um, start kind of like unplugging the wire harness. We're gonna try to drop this motor or try to get it started to the point where we can drop it. Um, so so far, I've removed the inspection panels um, on both sides. I removed the TCS bar that was on here. Uh, prior to. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just start unplugging, start removing things as much as I can. So let's get to it. stuff so far um, our uh, coolant holes is gone our return line to our fuel is removed um, I got to remove actual our main fuel line uh, slowly but surely I'm, I'm doing all this but um, next is going to be this um, this fuse box the fuse box is mainly in the way so um, I just want to make sure that I remove all this stuff appropriately so then um, I don't have any issues, you know. I, first, actually, before I even do anything, I didn't make sure that the battery was unplugged, so I'm gonna unplug that now. So now to unplug the battery. So I got this really cool um, quick release um, battery terminals. It's very easy, all I have to do is lift and pull up. So this works fairly well. Uh, especially with with motors like or batteries like this in weird spots, um, it actually works very 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 well. There we go. Get it unplugged now. I just pull, it up, pull the battery. To kind of show you guys a glimpse of the quick terminals that I was talking about, um, got these off of um, I can't remember either Wish. I don't know, AliExpress, I don't know, one of those, but these things work phenomenal. They clamp down, they protect the inner portion of the wire. Um, it also releases uh, when you pull up to unhinge itself or unclamp itself from the battery. Same thing goes for the positive, kind of cool. Um, I gotta insulate this one a little bit better, but otherwise it's been working great. So now to finish unplugging and un, uh, attaching the the fuse box. We're gonna start removing these two screws that are here in the fuse box. Um, at this point, um, there's no power running to anything, so we're gonna have to worry about any type of shocking or anything like that. Um, I've had that happen to me a couple times, and I have gotten shocked, and it, it's quite a buzz you get. Um, but uh, I learned my lesson. <laughs> I almost did it when I didn't uh, pull the battery out. So I'm plugging all this stuff. So I've removed most of the stuff here um, on this engine. What I'm going to be doing right now is removing um, the heater core hoses. Um, basically, there's one an, uh, an inlet and an outlet. Um, I'm going to remove both of them. Um, I don't know if you've really noticed, but I've used very basic tools to remove this motor. That's how easy it is to remove. Um, 
everything from the top anyway once it gets uh, down towards the the drivetrain and like the axles and stuff like that it gets a little bit um, uh, what is the word I'm using for it? Not a little bit more difficult, but um, it does, you use a little bit different tools. But um, as far as like the whole top end of the motor, you literally can remove it with a set of, like a, you know, those tools that come together in like a hundred piece set or two hundred piece set. So it's fairly simple. Um, but let's get to this um, these uh, heater core hoses. Um, so then I can remove them, uh, put them all to the side. Um, and then we got the radiator hose on that size, and we're almost like done dropping everything. Um, I just noticed that this exhaust is a, uh, a KO racing exhaust, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it for this build or replace it with uh, another type of exhaust, but um, I've never heard a KO um, exhaust, actually, to be honest. So I, I, I would like to see how it sounds, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But let me get to these um, heater heater hoses and we'll go from there. Let me give you kind of a closer look to what I'm doing so far. Um, so actually I've pulled the, the heater hoses which were these two. Um, this one here and the one right next to it right there. Um, Remove them from the actual uh, attachments themselves. Um, next what I'm going to be doing is removing the um, the pin which I removed the pin but it shot somewhere so I don't know exactly where it went. Um, obviously I got a whole bunch of coolant everywhere. Um, the coolant, coolant looked horrible. I mean the coolant was like almost like a pea color which is not good. Um, there's probably rust in there and stuff like that so that makes me think that I might have to buy a radiator um, and do it that way and kind of do it the better way um, so then I can actually um, have this done correctly um, but what I'm going to be doing now is removing those um, I'll probably remove the the large um, the large uh, radiator holes here um, and then I'm almost done then it comes down to motor mounts so we're we're actually gonna probably continue this tomorrow um, so we'll catch you on the flip side hey guys here we are the next day um, so we're gonna get to it we already know what we're actually doing uh, what we're gonna be doing is removing these uh, spindles try to remove all suspension that I need to remove um, so then we can get this motor out this thing needs to happen today if not today it's gonna happen tomorrow but <laughs> it has to happen soon um, so let's get to it So next step, actually, what we're going to be doing is removing actually all of the um, strut tower uh, bolts, um, so then it could be a little bit easier. So what I'm trying to do this time around is drop it all complete with whole subframe and everything, spindles. I was going to do it individually. It's just going to take way too much more time than I have. Um, so I'm going to start unbolting these, and then what we're going to be doing is um, trying to align everything to where when it falls, it falls down completely. Um, I'm going to have a jack under there and try to get everything situated perfectly. So, what can I say? Let's get to it. So I removed these bolts. They're on there pretty good, actually. Um, it looks like they were kind of rusted on there. Too tight, it looks like, almost. Um, but um, they're removed. I'm going to start now in the suspension. So let's get cracking. Show 
so I was able to remove a lot of things. I removed the um, the uh, brake line like connector here. Um, I was able to remove the caliper. Um, these are super freaking rusty. These things look like they should be thrown out in the garbage, which most likely they will, but it looks horrible. Anyway, um, pulled out mostly everything off the chassis. The only thing I have left is this trailing arm. Um, that arm will be removed once I remove this plastic piece, um, the plastic covering. Um, but I already loosened up the subframe bar, or the subframe bolts, where, which are right here. One right here, one right here. Um, it, it's fairly easy. Like you can't, you can't miss it. There's two bolts here that you remove. Uh, you remove your your um, brake line adapter piece. You remove your trailing arm. Uh, I think that's what that's called, the trailing arm. Um, and you're going to be removing the subframe. You're going to be lowering the subframe with everything at one time. Um, I found that to be the easiest way to do it, yet I have not done it that way, um, but technically it does save a whole bunch of time if you just do it that way, so that's how we're going to do it. So let's move on to the other side. So we are under the car, I was just kind of looking to see what all uh, bolts and stuff I have left from under here. So I got to remove this plastic piece here, there's a couple bolts, um, let me see, one right here, one right here, and I believe they're t either 10s or 12s. Um, you got a couple back down here too that that I'm gonna have to remove, but other than that it seems to be pretty good uh, Let's see this bolt here for the trailing arm. It's literally right here um, That needs to be cut come off so then this can drop freely um, This motor doesn't look too horrible. I mean for what it is right, but um, these two bolts are coming off these two have to come off right now and Same thing goes on this side so there's a bolt there that needs to be removed, that bolt needs to be removed, this trailing arm bolt needs to be removed, these cancerous metal bars that are going to be <laughs> coming off. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. You can see the fuel filter. This is an old one. This is going to get replaced as well. It looks like something here was leaking. Don't know what yet, but... I'm going to be removing this. This is the uh, the exhaust piping that's going to be coming off shortly. Um, I'm thinking of reusing this, but I'm not sure just yet. Um, this is the KO Racing um, exhaust. Um, got a little dent here. It's nothing punctured, just dented and a little scratched. Um, some buffing might help with that. Um, doesn't look too bad. The exhaust is it's pretty solid, so I'm going to try it out and see what's up. I'm probably going to get it ceramic coated. Just so then it's uh there's really no real issue with this rusting stuff. Um it'll clean it up really quick. Oh, also gotta remove these um these bolts. These bolts are basically holding on to the exhaust, so that's gonna have to come off before um we even drop the motor just to make sure that everything comes off in one piece. Um which I am a okay with. So uh ooh, that Anyway, um, that one might be, I think you can fit uh, the 5S alternator on the uh, 3S GTE, so I'm, I'm going to probably be using that again as well. Uh, I'm probably going to get it rebuilt. It looks brand new, but I don't know. It looks kind of brand new-ish. Uh, newer, rather. Um, I'm probably going to get it rebuilt anyway and put it back on here. All right, let's get this moving. So I ran to the local uh, Harbor Freight Tools to get um, some things that we were going to need. Um, I got another uh, extendable ratchet. This is something that I was going to need um, to get those trailing arm bolts off because I've been having a horrible issue with them. So um, got some of these, got some more gloves. Um, I got some angle um, joint, like I guess like a, a, to be able to get into those weird little sections and I could probably use this with this just to help. Um, and if not, I can actually use my the air tools to actually get this uh, done. Um, I got another magnet part holder, just to, it just helps. Um, so w I got actually some uh, uh, coupler, some high flow couplers to go with this. Um, so then I can then go ahead and put it on my um, my Husky air tank. Um, got some straps to pull the motor out with uh, the cherry picker um, and some uh, Teflon tape. So let's get started. 
before we start wrenching today, I actually got this in the mail. Um, I think these are my uh, extra brakes, like extra brake pads for the Brembo. But let me open this up and see how it is. Yeah, so I opened it up. So they are my Brembo uh, brake pads um, for my F50s. Um, I just wanted to get uh, an extra set because they're stupid expensive and I had the money to buy it. Um, just because I know that eventually I'm not going to be able to buy those later because they're so damn expensive. Um, but yeah, Brembo. Boom, 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 Brembo. Um, but yeah, so let's get uh, wrenching. So, finally got everything down. It This gave me such a headache. This bolt never wanted to come out. It's not stripped or anything. This thing is just on there. It just does not want to come out. Um, same thing went for the... Uh, for this right here I try to try to remove that too that wasn't going so I just left them both on I just removed everything from the subframe so um, the toe arm I kind of just bolt unbolted it off of the uh, the actual spindle assembly um, the axle is pulled out so that's gonna be an easy drop um, what else um, I already unbolted the subframe from up here as you see it's not connected uh, the sway bar end link is shot so whoever gets this car is gonna have basically a brand new um, brand new sway bar end links um, but uh, yeah this is kind of where we're at so far uh, I'm going to remove the other side and then start commencing the drop of the motor man like this is this is finally giving me a little bit of uh, relief that uh, I, I got this part off like this was horrible and at the same time while I'm here I'm gonna undercoat all this so again whoever whoever buys this is gonna probably have a nice MR2 set and ready for whatever daily driving they want to do or whatever but as you see it's not horrible but it, it needs a good cleaning a good power washing and then um, then some uh, some undercoating maybe some truck bedding or something but something good now to the other side I just hope it's not as much of a nightmare as the other side was but uh, I've already like lubed everything up, um, PB blastered everything I possibly could um, to try to remove everything. So this should be, this should be, fingers crossed, a uh, straight shot with this side. Um, this side definitely didn't give me that much of an issue. Um, I do gotta remove the, the nut and stuff like that, but that, that's easy stuff. Um, all right, let's get this going. Hey guys, so I finally got all this end uh, removed up. So I, this one came out a lot more uh, easier, or a lot more easier, it doesn't make sense, but it came out easier. Um, I removed the actual, the nut off the, the axle. I took down the full suspension. I took out the uh, sway bar end link. Um, the brake is down, so this whole thing, this whole piece is able to be removed now. I could literally just pull it out as I drop the motor. Um, but these are the last few steps now. So soon, what we're going to be doing is uh, removing the motor mounts. I already took off the uh, the shift linkage. Um, now it's going to be the motor mounts, and after the motor mounts, the motor's down. After that, then we start paint. Uh, but we'll go from there. Hey, so so far so good. Progress is coming along pretty well. Um, all I got to do now is remove the uh, pa the driver's side motor mount. I already removed the bolts, so what I'm going to be doing now is just kind of knocking the, the bolt out so then I can put it out to this side. Um, and then probably going to do it in reverse order because I'm going to have more access to this side um, than I am to this side since the transmission is going to be here and all these things are going to be in the way. Um, next, then, I'm going to be removing the, the pins from the... Um, from the shifting cables after that then I'm going to remove the passenger side motor mount bolt um, and then lastly is going to be that annoying firewall mount bolt um, for the firewall uh, motor mount but other than that we, we're almost done let's check it out let's get this done all right, guys, we got it all out. Um, basically, it is dropped completely. Subframe is coming down. Um, it's still hanging on to the uh, leveler with the cherry picker. Um, got a good friend of mine, Lewis, AKA Tarzan here helping me out. Um, but most of it is all down. As you can see, a lot of it is 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 not too bad looking, actually. Um, I'm gonna try to adjust some of this and see how it falls. These trailing arms are 
some type of arm, whatever this, these things are called, but I'm gonna try to drop it to the point where um, I could drop it on something and try to wheel it out of here. So we got this side bolted up, it was strenuous but um, having the car level, um, Tarzan actually figured it out. I don't know why it was um, so damn hard but we got it going. Now we're going to go to the other side. Check out this, this is empty. Going to power wash this and uh, clean it up a little bit because it looks horrible. So finally motor is out, everything is said and done, the car is going to get power washed. Thanks to my dude right here Tarzan for all the help. Um, this is this is so far where we're at. So I needed to do some uh, content for YouTube and I apologize that I haven't had uh, enough time to, to do it but now that I do, um, the motor is out. So uh, what I'm going to do is power wash everything, make it nice and clean. Uh, probably change out a couple different things and, and we'll go from there but uh as far as right now you already know this is nasty addiction um thanks for watching please subscribe share and like this video if you like them subscribe all right guys thanks nice and clean engine bay look at that look at that folks it's just gonna after a nice power wash everything came out nice and clean And now what I'm going to do with this is powder, ceramic coat it all black um, and leave the tips shining. That's what it's going gonna, gonna to look like guys. It's going to have a front lip, 5 gen, real nice sitting good on the, uh, on the turbo rims, but a nice 93 front lip and it'll be for sale guys.